Let's talk about the cash eviction policy in this video. You all would have heard about one of the important cash eviction policy which is least recently used cash eviction policy. Let's start with first understanding why this existed. As cash sits closest to the CPU, accessing data is very much fast. But there is a limitation of quantity of data to be stored in cache. So if cache is full and we need to remove the old pages, which one should we choose? For example, we have a cache with capacity 3 to store at most 3 pages and it is empty initially. Let's say CP requires page 1. It didn't find it in cache so it will search in RAM or hard disk and put it in cache. After this CPU needs page 2, it will do the same. If next page required is page 3, it will do the same thing again. Now we can see that we have done 3 page accesses, page 1 is the least recent page access and page 3 is the most recent. So now if CPU needs page number 4, to make the access fast, we need to get it stored in cache. As cache is already full, which page should we replace it with? By looking at it, it is customary to believe and it is the strategy followed by LRU cache policy to remove the least recently accessed page which is page 1 in this case. So we will remove the page 1 and add page 4 to the cache. And now page 4 will become the most recent page access and page 2 becomes the least recent. We follow this approach whenever the cache is full and the required page number is not present in cache. So now if next time CPU requires page 4, it won't have to go far and will get it directly from the cache. This makes data access faster. It will be the same for page number 2 and 3 as well. This idea is based upon the belief that most recently accessed page will be accessed furthest in the future. By looking at what we did just now, the important operations performed on cache are setting a page and getting a page. As cache operations needs to be fast, we need to do both the operations in constant time. For maintaining the history of page accesses which would help us in keeping the most recent and least recent pages, queue looks like one of the possible data structure to use to store those pages. Front end of queue will be used for least recent and rear end will be used for most recent page access. Other pages are stored in order of their occurrence in between both the ends. For fast access of those pages, we can use HashMap or Dictionary, whose key will be the page number and value will hold the index of queue at which those pages are. This idea seems fine, but there is a problem with it. Let's see why. Consider a cache implemented using queue and dictionary of capacity 5. Let's say CPU needs page 1. It will look in dictionary and does not find it, which is a get operation which takes constant time. As it is a new page, it will do two things. First is to enqueue it into the queue and second is to add it to dictionary whose key will be the page number and value will hold the index of queue at which it's stored, which is zero. All this will come under set operation which also takes constant time as enqueuing in queue and adding an element into dictionary are constant operations. So let's say one by one we are keep getting a new page and we enqueue them as per their occurrence. So now page 1 is least recent and page 5 is most recent for which we are using the front and rear ends of our queue to represent. So now if CPU needs page 3, it will find it in cache in constant time with the help of dictionary and becomes the most recent page. But as per our bookkeeping of occurrence, we need to put 3 at the place of 5. There seems to be two ways of doing that. First is if we go by interchanging the pages. We will make page 3 to be the most recent but page 5's order of occurrence will get modified. As previously 5 has occurred after 4, with this approach 5 will come before 4, which is not the right way to do it. Second is, instead of replacing, we need to remove the page 3 from queue and add it after page 5. That will preserve the order of occurrence of all the pages, but removing an element from queue is not a constant time operation. As we remove 3, page 4 and page 5 needs to move to index 2 and index 3, which takes linear time. So how can we get a constant time removal? 
The answer is double linked list. If we know the address of node to be deleted, which we easily can, as we are keeping the track of addresses of pages in dictionary, we can delete that node in constant time, as double linked list only requires to change pointers rather than shifting all elements like Q. So instead of Q, let's see how this will work if we use double linked list. This is how the implementation will look like. Double linked list will maintain the least recent and most recent ends using its head and tail pointers. Here you can see all the pages in double linked list. Now if a get is performed on page 3, we can get it in constant time as usual, but to change its order of occurrence, we will remove it by just changing the pointers of the nodes around it and append it to the most recent end of double linked list. We get the address of node containing page 3 from dictionary. From this, we can get the next and previous nodes of current node and remove page 3 by assigning the next of P to N and previous of N to P. Now, as node containing page 3 is removed, we can add it to the most recent end by making tails next to the current node and current nodes previous to tail and make current node to be the tail node. All of this change in pointers will take constant time. The same thing will happen for the case if the capacity is reached and we need to set a completely new page. It will remove a page from least recent end and set it in a way we just did. Following this, we will make sure that set and get operations are constant in time. The link for the code is mentioned in the description. The code will become easier to understand by watching this. That's it for this video. Thanks.